Is anybody out there today? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy, happy New Year's, everybody. Oh, y'all got y'all beans? I am not a big bean person, so, um, therefore, we don't have any black eyed peas over here. <laughs> hey, Miss Hawk, what you doing at work? You know, you're supposed to call in, pretend like you sick. <laughs> Call in and pretend like you sick on the holiday. <laughs> oh my goodness. It has been a lazy day for me. Um please don't work too hard at work. I've been chilling like seriously like most of the day. Just chilling. Um me and the kids been sitting around Netflixing. Um, just chilling. We ain't really been doing much today. I've been watching other people's um, YouTube videos about their goals and resolutions and blah, 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 blah <laughs> uh, for the New Year's. And as usual, I don't really have a resolution. I just always try to do better, be better, do better, um, be a better person, a better mom, a better friend, a better sister, you know, uh, just try to, you know, do more um, on a day to day basis as far as, you know, making every day count, um, every day matter. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but I didn't seen a lot of people that I know and care about, you know, this year either pass away or get really, really gravely sick and just, you know, trying to just trying to maintain. And it's hard watching other people go through things like that, you know, when it's your family and friends. And so... That's just, you know, what I'm just trying to do, make every day count, make every interaction um, with your loved ones and your friends and your kids, you know, make everything count because life is too short. Life is too short. I don't have any resolutions, um, any big goals. I just want to, again, you know, just write, you know, live in my best life, live your best life. Because sometimes you make these resolutions and then when you don't meet those resolutions, you kind of get down on yourself and feel like you failed, you know? Like, um, when was that? Oh, let's see. It was about 10 years ago. I used to smoke cigarettes. And um, about 10 years ago, it was on uh, October 31st when I smoked my last cigarette 10 years ago. And my resolution, that was the last year I made a resolution. And that was to quit smoking um, before the new year. And when I made it, I was like, why am I keep puffing these doggone things, these nasty, stale tasting, stank breath, stank clothes, stank house, stank car things? Um, Why am I waiting till January 1st? Because I had always made re resolutions before that to quit smoking cigarettes and I always failed. <laughs> I always failed. And they say cigarettes is almost harder to quit than smoking hard, you know, than stopping hardcore drugs. And um, it is. <laughs> it is. So um, one day I was just like, you know what? I have a pack of cigarettes left. I'm going to just wean myself off this pack and that's going to be it. Forget about December 31st or January 1st. 
I'm just going to quit. And that's what I did. Every cigarette left in that pack, I weaned myself off of it. I smoked half a cigarette in the morning when I woke up. Right before um, I left home to go to work. And then I put the cigarette back in the box. And in the evening, right before, like literally right before I laid down to go to bed, I smoked the other half of the cigarette. And I did that um, every day. One cigarette a day, half in the morning, half at night. And it got so bad where it tasted so horrible. It was so disgusting. It almost made me gag, almost made me vomit. It was so, from weaning yourself off that um, nicotine, that tobacco, it was it, it was gross. And But I said I was going to wean myself off this last pack. I had to keep going. I had to keep smoking that pack making myself suffer from that nasty taste and that smell. By the time I was done with the last cigarette, it was Halloween. And right when I got out the car to take my children, who were smaller back then, that was 10 years ago, took them trick-or-treating, I put the cigarette out on the sidewalk, and that was it. By the time I weaned myself off that pack of cigarettes, I couldn't stand the taste, couldn't stand the smell, couldn't nobody come around me with cigarettes. Um, I uh, used to smoke coffee, smoke coffee. I used to smoke and drink coffee in the morning. Um, liquor too, smoked with, you know, my liquor. So I stopped drinking for two months, stopped drinking coffee for two months, kind of became a enclosed hermit. For like a couple of months. Just uh, because everybody I knew smoked. Everybody smoked something or another. <laughs> um, but definitely cigarettes. So I stayed away from everybody I knew that smoked. Didn't go out on breaks at my normal time with my normal co-workers. Because I knew they smoked. And, you know, it probably took until like the better part of the next year, actually, for most of the jitters and most of the cravings and most of the, you know, to go away. But cigarettes is so hard to quit, like so hard. But people ask me all the time, like, how did you quit? It wasn't cold turkey like some people think, because winning yourself off a pack isn't cold turkey. Cold turkey is just stopping. And I tried that before. But, you know, that was the last time I made a New Year's resolution. That was, what's this, 2019. So it was 10 years ago to last Halloween. So 2008, um, Halloween 2008, that was, you know, basically the last year, last time I made a New Year's resolution. And like I said, I had told myself I was going to quit before the New Year. And then I was like, fuck it, that I ain't making no New Year's resolution. I'm going to do it now. Because I had always failed at my New Year's resolution. So I'm like, if I'm so serious, if I'm so serious, and that's anything you want to do. If you so serious, you know if you're really serious. Whether you want to buy a car, buy a house, get a new job, start your own business, quit smoking drugs, liquor, um, quit stirring up mess on YouTube. <laughs> Ah, I just had to throw that in there because everybody is on their YouTube channels talking about, um, you know, this year I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And I think we all should do this and we all should try to better ourselves and we all should try. And they be like the ones always in the mess. Go figure. Go figure. But anyway, again, <laughs> most people fail at their New Year's resolutions. I got hair in my face. Most people fail at their New Year resolutions. There's something that you really want to do. Get her done. Get her done. And just, you know, just do it. Live one day at a lot at a time. Um, one thing I used to hear somebody say was if there is really something you really want to do, every day you should be doing something um towards that goal. Every day, whether it's, um, 
you know, just every day, like, do something. Do something towards that goal. If you want to buy a new house, every day, check your credit report. Every paycheck, put some money to the side. Um, watch home videos. Go to meetings. Um, talk to other homeowners. You know, if it's if it's a new job you want, every day fill out a new application. I don't know what y'all use to find jobs, but I like Monster.com, CareerLink.com. It's so many different ones out there, you know, to look for new jobs. And you're right, Miss Hawk. Um, 21 days to change a habit. Mm-hmm. It's true. It's true. I know what I did today was um on my on my Facebook page I uh was that today? Yep, today. I made a post and uh I made a post and asked uh basically how many people go to this particular gym, um Planet Fitness. And it was mainly because I had uh hit my sister friend up today. And was like, hey, you want to go work out at the gym? It's the first. I know mostly everything is closed. A lot of people at work. A lot of people, um, you know, trying to start their year off right and healthy. And she uh, couldn't go. So I was like, man, I need to find me some more people who like to work out or want to work out. So I made a post on Facebook. <laughs> Hey, who all got a membership to Planet Fitness? Hit me up. And just one after another. I do, I do, I do, I do. I was like, cool. Oh, I'm going to tell her. <laughs> I'm going to tell her you said hello. I'm trying to get her to get her own pace too, Miss Hogg. But she, she's, um, she's kind of shy. You know, she's kind of shy. And it's funny because we was at her house. Well, I was at her house the other day on my birthday. And I was kicking it with her, you know, into the night after I had went to dinner and all that kind of stuff for my birthday. And she was telling me, she said, how do I be doing, you know, on our sisters from another Mr. Uh, movie review segments? And I'm like, you be doing fine. You be doing good. And her son was even like, yeah, mom, you be doing great. He was like, you just got to get used to it. You know, she'd be like, I'll be feeling like I'll be messing up. I'll be feeling like, you know, I'm like, girl, that's how everybody feel the first time they get on YouTube. Nervous or sometimes you might like stumble over your words or, you know, say the wrong thing. But, you know, I, I tell everybody, people all the time, they'd be like, you do YouTube? Yep. And you can too. <laughs> Yep, that's what I told her. She just got to stay with it. Just stay with it and she'll get used to it. And it'll just be like jumping on the phone with, with a good friend. You know, hey, what's going on, y'all? What's the haps? <laughs> what's the haps? But, yeah, I'm just chilling here. Look at my little, my little uh, comforter. Not comforter, but kind of like little throw. You see what that is, right? You see what that is? Can you tell? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you tell? <laughs> That's a gift that I got. Um, uh, not this Christmas, but a couple of years ago from my bestie. She moved away from Omaha a few years ago and uh, moved to uh, Florida. And she knows how much I love sports. And she couldn't remember none of my favorite teams. <laughs> but because she's like not into sports at all. And she saw this online somewhere. And she ordered it. And it's, you know, it's really cool. I like it. You know, and it's really comfortable. And I was like, okay. Some people been trying to get me to uh, buy it, trying to get me to sell it. I mean, I'm like, uh, 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 no, I'm not selling it. Nope. Not going to do that. I'm going to keep my little comforter 
And even my son's been trying to, you know, trying to mess with it. Like, no, you're not. Nope. But anyway, my bad. I'm trying to fix my cover back. But, yep, she got me a Patriots, um, little Patriots cover. But, yeah, and this needs to go down eventually. Yeah, can you see the tree? Yeah, that bad boy needs to go down eventually. <sighs> I don't know. Something about the holidays... I don't like taking my trees down. Thank you, Miss Hogg. It's just a little old tree. You probably can't tell, but it's black. It's a black tree. We got it from Walmart. Um, my son and I, my youngest one, my 17-year-old, uh, we went to look at a new tree, you know, a couple of weeks before, uh, no, like a week after Thanksgiving. And he saw the black tree. He's like, oh, mom, this tight. We got to go get this, do that. I'm like, well, no, nobody want no black tree. We either getting green or white. And I really don't like white trees, so I'm like, we getting green. But then when all the employees was like, oh, man, the, the black trees is what's happening now. They selling, like, you know, hotcakes. I was like, oh, okay, let's get one. <laughs> So I can feel like feel like we doing something. <laughs> so yeah, you can't really tell unless you really up on it. But it's a black tree, and he decorated the entire tree by himself. Just woke up one morning and said, you know, he wants to do it. And then I bought the little star. I don't know if you can see the star, the star on the tree, but uh. Yeah. So anyway, I'm just sitting here, my little lazy boy, being lazy, which is what I like to do on my days off from the main job, the part time job, the other jobs. I'm like, Phew. I'm just taking a break. When you work several jobs and you get a day off, it's like, I just want to lounge. Just lounge around and not do much of nothing, you know? Not do much of nothing. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me turn the camera around so I can show y'all what I've been watching. Actually, I just started it. I've been watching. Matter of fact, I just finished watching Paid in Full on Netflix. And I was watching something else earlier, but I couldn't really get into it. Then my son was like, Mom, watch Lucifer. You haven't watched that yet. I'm like, Lucifer, that's the devil. Why would I want to watch that? <laughs> but anyway... Hold on. I don't know if y'all can see, but I just started it. Season one, episode one, and I guess I'm a little behind because it's three, um, three episodes, three seasons. What you say, Miss Hall? Oh yeah, it's cool. Yep, it's cool. I thought it would look kind of, I don't know, weird at first. Because the, the black trees we saw at the store, they weren't decorated. They were just standing up there. And they had, like, just a stream of lights. You know, just a stream of lights. They weren't fully decorated. So I just couldn't picture it as looking pretty. But when we got it home, he started decorating it and putting it up. And I was like, okay, all right, I likes <laughs> I likes, <laughs> but yeah, so I hope everybody is having a wonderful start to their new years. Um, I know I said tomorrow I was going to, uh, come back with my reviews. I know I need to do Atlanta housewife. Um, that came on Sunday. Yeah. Sunday. And I wasn't trying to do anything. Um, Sunday evening or Monday evening. I, I was trying to enjoy my birthday weekend <laughs> and New Year's Eve and, you know, everything with my family and friends. So, yeah, but I'll be back with the reviews. 
um, starting Wednesday. And a lot new, a lot of the new show, the shows are um, coming back on, like the ones that went off like last season. Um, I had said the other day, I really hope uh, Love and Hip Hop Miami. I really hope that season is going to be a lot better than the last season. Mm. Because it was so not lit last season. Uh, okay, Miss Hog, thanks for checking in. Thanks for checking in. Toodles. You only got an hour left, so you'll be out of there in no time. You'll be out of there in no time. And Happy New Year, sweetie. Happy, happy New Year's. To everybody. Happy New Year's to everybody. I'm just sitting here looking just pear. I'm just looking. Just looking. <laughs> My hair is everywhere. I don't care. I don't care. Again, I'm just enjoying my day. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, sweetie. I don't know. I was thinking about maybe possibly joining the choir next year. I haven't sang in the choir in years. I used to sing in uh, church as a child. Um, I sung in school, in the chorus. also sung in concert choir. Um, but every time I think about joining the choir at church, something comes up. I can't make the rehearsals because I'm working. So I don't know how I'm going to figure out that uh figure out that how to squeeze that into my schedule um i don't know and then some sundays i have to work so some sundays i wouldn't be able to sing in the chorus anyway so i don't know just something i want to do something i've been thinking about doing because i miss singing for the lord i miss singing for the lord but um Y'all, everybody, um, I'm just going to tune back into my little Netflix and enjoy the rest of my evening. Um, it's about 5.05 here, Central Standard Time. Yeah, about 5.20. My bad, 5.20, Central Standard Time. Um, so I'm just going to enjoy the rest of my evening and kick back with the kids and, you know, watch some TV and because tomorrow I got to be back at work. And let's see, tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yep, I got to work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm off this weekend, but I have cake orders Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and like every weekend the rest of this month. Um, whether I work or don't work, I got cake orders. <laughs> so when I'm working my regular jobs, um, and have cake orders. I just, you know, move, maneuver around my schedule. Sometimes I have to stay up late into the wee hours of the morning, get up super, super, super early before the crack of dawn to decorate cakes or cupcakes or whatever party treats they want. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. But anyway, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your New Year's Day and many blessings to all those who follow me, uh, my friends and family and, you know, everybody who subscribed to my channel or even just stroll across my channel who haven't subscribed yet. But you know what? It's a new year. Take a chance. Subscribe to some channels, some different channels. You know, um, it's a lot of people on YouTube. A lot of people, um, a lot of people on YouTube are kind of like, um, I'm going to use this as like music and movies, like kind of in the same genre. Like a lot of channels, it's all about drama, drama, you know. Um, there's a lot of channels on food and cooking and uh, technology. Um, it's a lot of channels on just so many to choose from. I personally have three channels. I have Tanya. This one I'm coming to you from right now. The Tanya uh, Knows No Limit. And also I have Tanya's Primetime TV Media Reviews. And I also 
have Tanya's Delights Slice by Slice. That is my cake decorating channel. So make sure, you know, you subscribe to those other two as well. Not just this one, but also the Tanya's Primetime TV Media Reviews and um, Tanya's Delights Slice by Slice. That is my cake decorating page um, channel, I should say. Um, and also I do have a YouTube. Um, I'm sorry. Also, I have a Facebook group on Facebook um, under Tanya's Primetime TV Media Reviews. And I also have a, a um, Tanya's Delights Slice by Slice Facebook page. Now, that is an open page. Um, so it's public. You can look that up and scroll through and look at all my cakes and cupcakes and other party birthday treats, wedding stuff, you know, everything, baby showers, all kind of stuff, all kind of stuff. But as far as like my Facebook group, that's a closed group. You can go over there to Facebook and request to join that group. Um, it's dedicated for my prime time, you know, TV and media reality shows, TV shows, you know, movies and all that and whatnot. So go ahead and check that out. Request to join the group in there. I post, um, all my videos and also you know we discuss different shows and different movies and things like that so anyway anyway back to this loose i'm gonna try to get into this show i only been watching it for a minute but it's funny <laughs> it's funny like this guy named lucifer you know he has a great sense of humor i thought it was gonna be like some dark cloudy uh type of movie since it's titled Lucifer, but so far, you know, it's okay, I guess. So, you know, my sons, they usually be the ones to refer me to different shows on Netflix. Mom, you should check this out. Or mom, you should um like the Bird Box movie um that we did a review on like a week ago. It was my son. Mom, you should watch this movie. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's doing reviews on it. I was like, okay, okay, son. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to check it out. And I was like, oh, yeah, this would be something I would love to do a review on. So we did. So anyway, anyway, um, back to my Lucifer uh, season one, episode one, I go. And again, you guys have a um, blessed remaining of day of your New Year's Day and a happy new year and many blessings and prosperity and health and wealth. All through the year for you, your family, your loved ones, your companies, um, your endeavors, whatever you put your hand to. 